I don't normally make the royal summons, but uh, it saves waiting for this lot to sort their lives out. Oh, come on, you only got us down here so you can show off your bling. <laughs> well, it'd hardly give Elizabeth Taylor a run for her money, but it'll do me fine. Mm. Your mum is full of surprises. Can't you keep her being born? And you are a very welcome one indeed. So, do you fancy maybe a drive out somewhere, three of us, a bit of quality time? It's when have you been a drive out sort of person? Well, you know, if there's a pub at the other end of it, I'm willing to admire the wonders of nature. Yeah, from the car. Or a pub. <laughs> yeah, all right, thank you. It's just a suggestion. Well, you could uh, run me down to the woolly in a bit. I'm meeting Harriet. She's going to help me with arrangements for a special licence for the wedding. Yeah, of course. I wanted to meet you first, in private, so I could tell you all her grisly secrets. He knows most of them already, thank you. Oh, I didn't realise we had company. I thought I'd just pop back, see if you needed anything for lunch. Oh, we're just talking about going to the Woolly. Well, why don't we make it more of a celebration? Yeah, you know, like, a, I don't know, engagement shower or something like that. Sounds lovely. I'll call Deb, see if she's free. We can get Marlon to put on some nibbles. Don't make too much of a fuss. I'm relying on you to keep her in check. 